Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing my blessings coming to the sign of Gemini and keep in mind that this will not resonate for all of you. If you'd like a personal reading, I'll leave that description down below. Another thing you do is we have memberships on the channel, so you go ahead and join. Become a member, get access to all those perks, Gemini. I had to restart this like four times because I just could not speak properly. I don't know why. On the bottom of the deck, we have the High Priestess. The High Priestess, that is Pisces energy, so I don't know if you have Pisces placements or if you have Pisces coming towards you, but anyways, High Priestess, that is intuition. Some of you may be becoming more intuitive, more sort of psychic, or that sort of area, you know? Tapping more into your intuition. We have the Hangman. The Emperor, which is Aries energy. Queen of Wands. Fire energy. The Lovers, which is Gemini energy. This is your own energy, Gemini. King of Cups. Water energy. For the Three of Wands. So Gemini, what have you been waiting for? It is coming in, whether that be business or love. It could be both. I see that coming in for you. Maybe some of you already are aware of that. Gemini, I put this this way. If you are single, I see you... I, I don't see you being single or optionless for long. You'd be with a water or a fire sign. Someone with a lot of water and fire placements. If you're with someone, I, I see you just sticking with them. Gemini, when I look at your reading, this goes on throughout the entire reading. You can really manifest what you want in your life. What you've been waiting for, it is coming in, in any area. So that could be like business, love, you know, whatever you've been wanting. So on the bottom of this deck, you have the High Priestess once again. Double High Priestess. So a lot of you may really be tuning into your sort of intuitive side. And that's why you're going to be able to manifest things more smoothly, because you are in that state of being connected. We have the Magician, Nine of Swords, Strength card, which is Leo energy, Star card, Aquarius energy, Nine of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. Like I said, you can manifest whatever you want. Your independence, you being more well known, love, whatever it is. I see you doing better financially in the month of June, Nine of Pentacles. I see you feeling more confident as well. I literally. Man, you manifest whatever you want, Gemini. You have that ability to you, apparently. You're number three with receptivity. Allow yourself to receive, allow yourself to give. So you're gonna have some sort of connection come into your life where it's equal give and take. It's not one sided. We have waiting. Number 46, facing your fears. Look for ways to strengthen your connection to the universe and others. Stay peaceful and calm in the knowing of who you are. So that's a message for you, Gemini. Number 32, threes are very important for you. The Star Daughters. Dance, I dance, sing, and play with my sisters at sunset. You have number 7 with community. And then we have healing. So healing, Gemini. Uh, Gemini. I see you connecting, and obviously not in a romantic way, with a sister or a female relative, community, star daughters. Gemini, if you're looking to rush into something, wait a little while before you just do it. You have the waiting card here. So I'm say what I see for you. So Gemini, that is all I have for you. Let me know if that resonates. 
Thank you for watching. If you want to see more content, don't forget to like, subscribe. Bye, guys.